Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe to my channel, like this video and press the bell icon. Tailwind CSS version 4.0 was released in January 2025 with some great new features, followed by version 4.1 in April 2025, which introduced even more exciting updates like text shadows and masks. In this video, I'll guide you through installing Tailwind CSS version 4.1, the latest version, and demonstrate how to use the new text shadow utility. Navigate to the directory where you want to set up your Tailwind 4.0 project, right-click, and create a new folder called Tailwind 4. Right-click on the folder, select Show More Options, and then choose Open with Code to open the folder in Visual Studio Code. Now let's install Tailwind CSS 4.1. Go back to Tailwind CSS Docs. Click on Tailwind CLI. First, we need to install Tailwind CSS and at Tailwind CSS slash CLI via NPM. Copy this command. Click here and open a new terminal. Paste the command which you have copied and press Enter. Tailwind CSS and at Tailwind CSS slash CLI have been installed. Open package.json file. You can see that both Tailwind CSS and at Tailwind CSS slash CLI are at version 4.1.4. Next, we need to import Tailwind CSS into the src slash input.css file. Copy this code. Create a folder named src inside the root of your project folder. Now create a file named input.css inside the src folder. Now paste the Tailwind import code you copied earlier. Next, we need to run the CLI tool to scan your source files for classes and build the CSS. Here is the command to run the CLI tool. Copy this command. Paste the command which you have copied and press Enter. This command will watch for changes automatically and rebuild the CSS whenever you update your files. The build process has added the output.css file here. Now we need to add the compiled CSS file to the head and start using Tailwind's utility classes to style the content. Copy this code. We need to create index.html file inside src folder. Create index.html file inside src folder. Paste the code which you have copied. In the h1 tag, add the class text red500 for red text. Now, to see the output, right-click and select Show Preview. You'll see the output right inside Visual Studio Code, without leaving your editor. You can see the Hello World text in red, bold, underlined, and with a text size of 3XL. This indicates Tailwind CSS has been installed successfully. If we change the text color to amber, the output updates automatically. Let's change the text color to green. The text will update automatically. The version of Visual Studio Code I'm using is 1.99.3. Click on Extensions and type Live. Here is the official Microsoft extension called Live Preview which hosts a local server in your workspace to preview web pages. There is another popular extension called Live Server, which launches a local development server with a live reload feature for static and dynamic pages. Let's open this file using the Live Server extension. Right-click and select Open with Live Server. You can see that the index file has been opened in the browser with the text in green. Let's change the text color. Change the text color to text gray 900 and save the file. Go to your browser, and you will see that the text color has been updated to gray 900. Now change the text color to text rows 500 and save the file.
Go to your browser, and you will see that the text color has been updated to rows 500. Click on Extensions and search for Tailwind. Click on Tailwind CSS IntelliSense. For auto-completing Tailwind CSS classes, you can use the Tailwind CSS IntelliSense extension by Tailwind Labs. Now let's add the Tailwind CSS watch command to the package.json file, so we can simply run npm run dev instead of typing the full command every time. Open package.json file. Here, add a script section in double quotes, followed by curly braces. Inside this, define a dev script with the Tailwind watch command. Go back to Tailwind CSS docs. Copy this command. Paste the command here and save the file. Press Ctrl plus C to stop the server. Here, replace output.css with styles.css so that it generates a styles.css file instead of output.css. Delete output.css file. Open index.html file and replace output.css with styles.css and save the file. In your terminal, type the command npm run dev and press enter. You will notice that it runs the same watch command we added in the script section. You can see that styles.css file has been generated inside the src folder. Open index.html file and change the text color to text blue 500 and save the file. Go to your browser and you will see that the text color has been updated to blue 500. Now, let's take a look at the newly added text shadow utilities in Tailwind CSS version 4.1. Go back to Tailwind CSS docs. Right click on the blog link and open the link in a new tab. Click on Read More. Scroll down. Here you can see the new Text Shadow Utility section. Copy this code. Comment out this code, then paste the code which you have copied. Here add the class text green 500. Replace p tag with h1 tag. Now add the class's text. 3XL and font bold. Go to your browser and you should see the text shadow effect applied. Here, I've added a div element with the classes flex, item center, justify center, and minh screen to center the content both vertically and horizontally. Inside this div element, there's another div with the classes text center, text, 5XL, font black, text, teal, 300, and text shadow LG which contains the text, how to install Tailwind CSS 4.0. Go to your browser, and you should see the text centered on the screen with the shadow effect applied. Replace LG with SM, save the file. Go to your browser and now you will see a small text shadow. Replace SM with 2XS and save the file. Go to your browser, and now you'll see an extra tiny shadow on the text. In this video, we learned how to set up Tailwind CSS 4.0 using the CLI, add a custom script to the package.json, and create a simple layout with utility classes. We centered text using Flexbox utilities and explored the newly added text shadow utilities like Text, Shadow 2 XS, and Text Shadow LG. By previewing our changes in the browser, we saw how Tailwind's utility-first approach makes styling fast, flexible, and efficient. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content. Feel free to drop any questions or comments below, and I'll be happy to help. I will see you in next tutorial, till then stay safe.